Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Well, I'll tell you, this is how you get a pitcher frustrated out there. He burned through an awful lot of pitches in that at-bat. And in the end of it all, he winds up losing the guy anyway. And to add insult to injury, this is a guy at the bottom third of the lineup we're talking about. That's just a great at-bat. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left as the Red Sox have moved out three to nothing. That pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go of it. Into the box now, Steven Souza. High pop-up. Cepeda is there for it. Oh, he botched it. Being out there during day games, I can tell you, it is no fun trying to find the baseball against a high sky like this. And here, he just doesn't pick it up. Back to the top of the order now, and striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Nope. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Release point, mechanics, just about everything looks out of whack right now. Uh, and these are the guys that really scare you. The guys that have absolutely no clue where the ball's going. Time to close up that stance just a little bit, I think. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning is that misses for ball four. Well, he's allowed one home run in the inning already. Maybe he's just a little gun shy out there. It did not look like he wanted any part of that guy on three and one, and he winds up putting him on. Andrew McCutcheon will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Stand alive, putting together a really good at. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. The batter number five, shortstop. Well, let's see it again in show motion. Uh, I don't know. That's awfully close. And he might have got away with one there. In now, Corey Seager. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Again, he sends it out of play. Now another. 
Another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. And this will wind up a foul ball. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. You know, and this is one of the few downsides to being a guy with tremendous strength at the plate. Once you get that thing started, it's really hard to put on the brakes, and he winds up breaking the plane right here, and that's strike three. Into the box, Edgar Martinez. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. That's really a, a no-win situation out there on the mound. You can't lay one in there because a guy like this could hit the ball into the parking lot, but you definitely don't want to give him a free run. And now he's got to turn right around and deal with another bases-loaded situation here. Coming to the plate again, Colby Rasmus as he'll bat for the second time in the inning. And it looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw in the Tiger bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One and two one, one, is the changeup had him out in front there. You can bet they'd love to have him get out of this without having to call in that bullpen just yet. One and two, here it comes. Hard that's sinker down. misses two and, two and two. Oh, that's a tough take, but a good one. The pressure's still squarely on the pitcher out there. He's still got to come in. Still two and two. Four runs here in this half inning. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. A lot of deep counts for these guys early on. And the more the better as far as they're concerned. They'd like to get him out of here as quick as they can. Three two with the bases loaded. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw in time and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three run home run. We've played two. It's now 4 nothing Boston. Welcome back to Fenway Park as we continue our coverage of Major League Baseball on the show. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in, and he'll be treated to a nice ovation here as one of the members of the 2013 club that, of course, won a World Series title here at Fenway Park. That is just so nice to see, and I think that will always be a pretty special memory around these parts. The strike. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Squared that one up just a little late. Too high. Ball three. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. Sent on the ground out to second. Altuve has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Up next for the Tigers, center fielder, Ian Desmond. Ian Desmond will try it once more. He lined out to start the ball game. 
Bases are empty, one man out. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. In tight with the slider, two and two. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside, and that's a good job to lay off, too. Duffy has his target. Here's the two and two. Here's a line drive. Caught at first by Napoli. A laser that time, but it'll wind up with nothing to show for it. Reggie Two away now. Jackson. Reggie Jackson is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two and even with two outs this is a team that can still put something together here especially in this part of the lineup so you can't let your guard down froze him for strike three and that retires the side down in order go the Tigers they trail here four to nothing. Mike Napoli digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Well, guys, they jumped out to that big lead early on in this game, but you really can't get comfortable. You have to keep putting pressure on. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And one away now here in the Boston third. The catcher, number 32, Matt Wieters. One gone in the inning. Here's the catcher, Matt Wieters. One out, nobody on. Hit hard to short. Crawford fields it cleanly. On to first, and Wieters is set down now. Two away. Third baseman, number seven. Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez steps in with another shot to do some damage after hitting a three-run bomb in his first plate appearance. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Hard hit towards center. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Steven Souza. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game. So let's see if he can come through with that one right here. The 3-0 and pitch. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3-1. and You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while. And when he does, he can forget it. And he misses again. Ball four. And his control is really letting him down now. Oh, and you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and a guy moves up into scoring position here. Jose Altuve stands in with two on and two out here in the third. And you know, some guys just get better with runners in scoring position and two outs. This is a big at-bat for him right here, even though it's still early. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Grounded to third. Right to him. And the throw to first will be in time. So the Red Sox come up empty. And the inning strands a couple. They lead it four to nothing.
leading off the inning, Orlando Cepeda, and they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by quite a bit in the early going here, so they need a good inning here to get them back in the game. All even now, two and two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Oh, I think you'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Seeger is up with it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting number 10, third baseman Chipper Jones. So one away in the inning, and that'll bring up the always dangerous Chipper Jones. No runs, two hits, one error for the Tigers thus far. Has to reach for that one as he fouls it away to the right side. It's one and two now. Duffy has his sign. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Rips this one to first. And this continues right on through him as he couldn't knock it down. And you know, that's what they needed. It's just a one-out single. Nothing too amazing. But now at least you get that guy into the stretch and maybe give your guys a little hope up there. Jonathan Scope comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. Yeah, but it was a pretty decent at bat. As I remember, he saw a lot of pitches and really made the guy on the mound earn that strikeout. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Payoff pitch on its way. He had high and deep out there to left center field. Rasmus looks up, and this one is gone. A home run. So a two-run shot to left center, and the Tigers have cut the deficit. Now it's a 4-2 ball game. Well, you figure it's only a matter of time till this guy gets going. That's his first home run here on the season, and you can bet it ain't going to be his last. Standing in now, Brandon Crawford. Ball too ball. high. One and two. I got to count one and two. And Crawford swings and misses at that one. A strikeout victim for out number two. Well, this is how you got to do it. This thing. If you Love give up a two-run home Jason run, Moore. you got to just move on quickly. He's still upset about it. Don't get me wrong, but it's when you dwell on it that you get yourself into more trouble. Into the box now, Jason Worth. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. On Worth, among the best in baseball a couple of years ago, working the count. He's got it to three and one now. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. Looking to avoid his first walk. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. The Tigers do get a couple, however, on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. 
The Red Sox four and the Tigers two. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in now. A silver slugger recipient for National League outfielders a year ago. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. And for that guy right there, this is going to be an important inning. He's already given up four runs through three. And you know, they need to get a minimum of five, hopefully six innings out of him. So he needs to show something right here. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. In the air to straightaway right. Jackson sprinting after it. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. The batter number five. Striding into the box. Corey Seager. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And that was a big strikeout in this game, too. If you remember, there were two guys in scoring position. So he's got to be looking for a much more productive at bat this time. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. He just keeps getting himself into trouble out there. Here's another guy that you've got to make swing the bat. We're in the fourth inning of a 4-2 ball game. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Beaten into the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Now batting the designated hitter, Edgar Martinez. Edgar Martinez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. We played four full. The Red Sox four, and the Tigers two. Leading off the inning, Kike Hernandez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so far, they'd love to see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Grounded down the third baseline to his right, Suarez. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting, catcher, Jared Saltalamakia. So with one away in the inning, here's Jared Saltalamakia. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Not only has he rung up a lot of strikeouts, but he still hasn't walked the batter to this point. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Stepping in now, Ian Desmond. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. McCutcheon on the move. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. 
Yeah, I think this was a changeup that just hung a right little field. bit too much in the Reggie strike zone. Jackson. Let's take another look at it here. Normally, you want this thing to sort of run out of steam and dip on its way out of the zone. But he starts this one up a little bit too high. And to be honest, he's pretty lucky that this one stayed in the ballpark. Reggie Jackson will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, <laughs> it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a one mind ball. game. You'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. More from Boston after this. Colby Rasmus comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Gibson looks in, trying to work it full on three and one. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And taken in out there for the first out. Oh, well, yeah, that one's going to sting a little bit. This pitch is coming hard in on him. And you can see he's way late getting that barrel through. So as it turns out, he's going to get more distance on the barrel of that bat than he does on the baseball. In now, Mike Napoli. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, apparently, he just got his gas tank refilled during the but last half inning 32. because I'll tell you, he's come Matt out looking as Winter. sharp as he has the whole ball game. Matt Weeders will step in a ground out victim as last time well I think it was a sinker that he rolled over last time up and he's probably going to see that same pitch again you got to wait for a mistake up in the zone against a guy like this smoke toward third chipper takes it in throw to first he's will out. get him easily and the side is retired Red Sox go down one two three but they still lead this one four to two Orlando Cepeda will stride in here to get the Tigers started in their half of the sixth. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. And this one's going to bounce one. up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's three and one now. And with the tying run in the on-deck circle, the question, does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Well, apparently these guys didn't see the highlights from yesterday because he had two home runs a day ago. Now he's got another home run right here. So now obviously this pace won't last, but man, he is hitting everything in sight. Into the box, Chipper Jones. Hot shot on the ground is short. Seeger scoops it up, throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The designated hitter, Jonathan 
Jonathan Scope will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Duffy's ready. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Three runs, six hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Souza going back at the track. He gets there, and that's the second out. Brandon Crawford will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Souza on the move. Around first, heading for second now. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Standing in now, Jason Worth. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Trying to hold the lead. Scorched to third. Suarez is there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Tigers are able to draw a run closer thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. The Red Sox four and the Tigers three. Cam Bedrosian is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Cam Bedrosian. Eugenio Suarez will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three run home run. One and one, here it is. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Aye. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. And now at the plate, here's where you got to put yourself in the pitcher's head and figure out, what would I throw on a two and two pitch? Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And let's take a look at the location of that final Mike pitch here on show track. And you're going to see that even Sousa. though he had a home run earlier in this ball game, they decided to come right back after him up in the zone, and they get him to swing right through it. Stepping in now, Steven Souza. And there's ball two now. One out, nobody on. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. I'd say he's made a pretty good impression since two strikeouts to start the inning. Jose Altuve stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning.
This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Seventh inning coming up. The Red Sox four and the Tigers three. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Kike Hernandez is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Ugh. You know, when you're holding on to a slim lead, you just can't walk the leadoff guy. I mean, those are the ones that really come back to haunt you. So he's really going to need to work towards getting a ground ball here. Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Steven Lockwood will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Steven Lockwood. Jared Saltalamacchia will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. You want to talk about a live arm? This guy's got one all right. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, that's what he's up here to do. Some late inning heat out of the bullpen, and he finishes him off with a good fastball here for career strikeout number one. So a pivotal moment here in digging in now. Ian Desmond, and he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. Yeah, but you got to make sure that he doesn't try to do too much here. Just keep that line moving. Do something productive and give the next guy a chance as well. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. All right now, just playing a little station-to-station -station baseball. And nothing wrong with that at this point in the ball game, especially because now you get that possible tying run into scoring position at second base. Still just one out, and meanwhile, you also get the potential go-ahead run on base as well. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. He's in a situation now where he does not want this game to get away from him. Two guys on already. Now he's not in the strike zone to this hitter. He's got to reel it back in because you're flirting with a little bit of danger now with another ball. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. A full count, three balls and two strikes. And now on three two, do you put any thought into sending the runners here with one away?
has to be thinking strikeout here. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Well, we knew he had to work carefully with the runner in scoring position, but I don't think a walk was what he had in mind. That's going to make things just a little trickier now with the bases loaded. Carson Smith will come on now really needing that double play ball as the bases are loaded here with only one man out. Orlando Cepeda will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. Tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Hip down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. One run scores. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 5-4 to four game. Big at bat there. His second and third RBIs in the ball game, but more importantly, these two give him the lead. Now to the plate, Chipper Jones. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Runners are at first and third, one away. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Taken that time by Chipper as the count draws even at two and two. Yeah, an interesting setup now on two and two. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy at first. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. And here at the plate, you do want to avoid the double play, but you don't want to do this. Well, now the runners stay at the corners with two away now, and you leave it up to the next guy to come through with a two-out hit. In now, Jonathan Scope hit hard on the ground to third. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. So two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. They'll get up and stretch here at Fenway. Tigers lead this one 5-4. to four. Leading off the inning, Andrew McCutcheon. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, this has been a great game so far, and they're only down by one. So getting this leadoff guy on would be huge for them. Here's the 1-1. He takes the changeup the other way out toward right center. Reggie moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. The batter number five, shortstop. Corey Seager will stand Corey in now. And he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of the better hitters in this lineup, and that's why he's in the middle of the order. He just hasn't been able to get it going today. It happens. Shot towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Now batting, the designated hitter, Edgar Martinez. Edgar Martinez strides in, grounded out his last time through. Two out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, and the deficit holds at 5-4. to four. 
Jumbo Diaz will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Jumbo Diaz. Leading off the inning, Brandon Crawford, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Two and one. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Nip the corner. Two and two. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Yeah, in the eighth inning of a one-run game, it's always important to get that first out. Put that offense on their back heels. Jason Worth will step in. A ground-out victim as last time. Ready on one and two. Swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Back goes Rasmus. Gone. Over the monster for a home run. And he's getting close with that home run. He's just one away from number 200 for his career. Well, this is not a number that's going to put him among the all-time greats or anything. But there are so many players out there, both current and former major leaguers, who'd love to say they had 200 dingers. Heck, I only hit 19. Into the box now, Kike Hernandez. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. And my goodness, that nearly got him as he had to back away from it. It's ball three. Bases are empty, one man out. And a full count now, three and two. Chop fouled over towards the dugout. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Catcher, Jared Sotolamakia. Jared Saltalamacchia will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside by the fire. I guess he's just not seeing what everyone else is. McCutcheon is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One for the Tigers, and it comes on this solo home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the Tigers six and the Red Sox four. Corey Guerin is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Corey Guerin. Leading off the inning, Colby Rasmus as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Takes a look at a change up there and it's a ball and two strikes now. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. The batter, first baseman. Mike Napoli will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. 
One out, nobody on. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. And a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Hmm. Hard to believe he let that one go. He, that was right on a platter for him. The 2 2 pitch. Full count now. Three and two. <laughs> now, three and two with a two run lead. It, this has to be in the strike zone. You can't work the corner here. This has to be right at it. Shot toward right center. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. The catcher, number 32, Matt Wieters. Matt Wieters will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Three and zero pitch on its way. And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. Runners on first with one down. Swung on and missed three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. Now a swing and a fly ball. Worth on the move. And that will end up a foul ball. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We return to Fenway Park after this. Jared Hughes will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Ian Desmond, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get out. Ready with the payoff pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Yeah, that one hurts. He might be in just to face this one guy. So to come right in and put him on base, that doesn't help the cause at all. Reggie Jackson comes to the plate here. And we'll see how they play it with that leadoff man on base. Now, and in this situation, you've got to move that runner to second any way you can. So we're going to see how they decide to play it right here. And some trouble now in right field. Now batting. First yeah, after point. the base hit, right, I think he's got one eye on the runner to see if he's going to take the turn at second. And he winds up kicking this thing out of lack of concentration. That allows the guy to advance anyway. Standing in now, Orlando Cepeda. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And it's worth pointing out that they're burning through that bullpen here in game one of this series. That could have an effect on the rest of this week. Runners at second and third here, nobody out. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 now. E.K., where are you going now on 3-2? and two? 
I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Liner towards second. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. Boy, and half of a day at the plate. Another RBI catches fourth of the game. And he's just putting on a hitting clinic with runners in scoring position. That is not a bad day's work. Tommy Lane will come on now in an awfully tough spot as there are two on here with nobody out. Shepard Jones will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3-0. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And this could really be trouble now because with runners on every base, they've got a chance to really break this thing wide open. Jonathan Scope comes to the plate with the bases juiced, and it seems a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. Yeah, and pretty much any glimmer of hope for those guys in the field would have to be gone if he comes through with a big knock right here. Fastball oh, taken inside. inside for a ball. Two and one now. Well, he's starting to put himself into a no-win situation. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run, but you can't just throw a cookie in there because he could bring in four with one swing. set and the two and one pitch oh, and this could be trouble now it's three and one in danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen not exactly providing relief he's got to find it here somehow oh and it misses ball four and that will force home a run well, this is certainly not going to help matters defensively. This forces home a run to extend their lead, and now an extra base hit could really put this one out of reach. Brandon Crawford stands in, was locked up on strike three in his last trip. It's always tough to go down looking, but the thing I remember about his last at-bat is that he really made the pitcher work. He saw a bunch of pitches, and that's a bigger deal than a lot of people realize. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Ah, uh, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Taken high and deep to right. Looking up is Souza. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one as they've widened this lead to eight now. Oh, uh, nowhere to put him. You can't walk him. You can't pitch around him. So he has to come in with something right here. And boy, this guy was just lying in the weeds waiting for this pitch. And this is the big salami right here. Jason Worth will stand in yet again, and he, of course, has had one of the big blows in the contest so far. This was back in the eighth, as this solo shot proved to be a very important run in this ballgame. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. No outs, nobody on. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chopped weakly to the left. Suarez 
comes up with it. Throw on to first, and they're finally able to get on the board here. There's one away. Second baseman, P.K. Hernandez. Hernandez. Stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. And the count will be full. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit. Possibly more. The relay. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Well, I think this was a little bit of a gamble from my perspective. I had a feeling that he'd take a big turn around first and then hold on. But he was having none of that. He's smelling two all the way, and he's going to make it there with a hustle double. Chris Medlin will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Medlin. Into the box, Jared Saltalamacchia on the ground up the middle. Oh, Altuve, he's up with it. The throw, oh, he's in. not in time. Man, almost a great play. Fantastic play, but he's unable to finish with an out, and runners will be at the corners now with one gone. Stepping in now, Ian Desmond. Liner toward right center. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Apparently, they're not done yet. This is now a seven-run inning. They've gotten contributions from almost everybody up and down that lineup. Reggie Jackson digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hit hard up the middle. He's got it. Altuve for one. On to Napoli, and they get two here to get him out of the inning. But a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. We'll see 8, 9, and 1 do up in the bottom of inning number 9. Tigers are out in front, 13 to 4. Eugenio Suarez will lead things off here in the ninth in what's been a truly forgettable ball game for this home 9 and not a very inspiring performance either. And I guess the kicker for me is the way that these guys are responding. It's one thing to go out and get clobbered. It happens, but... When you get guys... Here it comes on one and one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Worth is there, and that is a big first out here to start inning number nine. Right fielder number 20. Steven Souza will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a... And he makes the catch for the second out. Red Sox down to their final out now. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Hey, that's a great job to work out the walk there. That's one thing managers like to see. 
you got to die hard at the plate, even down to your final out. You never know in this game. Andrew McCutcheon will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Yeah, nothing going on earlier in this inning, but a chance to make some noise right here. Those kind of walks often seem to come back and bite guys somehow. A runner on first with two away. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And this is ball four as it's off the catcher's glove. Yeah, they went to the slider there on three and two, and that's a pitch where you're really hoping a hitter will see fastball and swing through it. But it didn't work out that time, and he winds up losing him. Corey Seager digs in now after lining out in his last try. Yeah, he was right on the off-speed stuff and hit it well, but just didn't have any luck. It's going to be interesting to see if they stay with more fastballs right here. A little bit outside. Two and one. Yeah, a good job here of working himself back into a hitter's count, especially with two men on base in front of him. Tap fouled at home plate. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. Hit on the ground to short. There is Crawford. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. And I think this is a good decision here to let the setup guy stay on to finish this one off. He goes out to pick up the rare save with an excellent effort. So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. You'll see on the line score, four hits, including that big home run. Uh, you'd have to say he was instrumental in leading these guys to the victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Harrow, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Tigers win it 13-4. So long from Fenway. Time of the ball game, 3 hours and 56 minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon, 36,298. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.